Good morning, Jason Coleman, mortgage broker with Price Mortgage. And today we're gonna be looking at Mortgage Night. And we're gonna look at the comfort report on square footage, uh, month over month from June to July. The uh, information just came out just a few, uh, few days ago. And uh, first thing I'm gonna touch on is the comfort report. And that's showing here in Maricopa County. Let me just see up in my face, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so we were at uh, 306 a square uh, 306 a square foot and month over month uh, prices have dropped to two what is that 286. So that is a price drop month over month of eight percent. We also had our sales for July uh, in Maricopa County uh, fall below 6,000 homes sold. 6,000 homes sold. Now you won't see this for a few weeks but I have a few agents that have reported to me, and those are the numbers, under 6,000. Now, what did we do in June? Somewhere around 8,000, maybe 8,500. So that looks like a transaction crash to me. I, I'm just being real with you, just crazy. I also wanted to uh, touch on what Black Knight quoted and saying that from June to July was the biggest pricing decrease since the 1970s, get this. So it was at 2.1% that we saw national average price decrease. So the last time we had, the last record was set in May of 2006, where we had a 1.2% price decrease month over month. So that is a 66% increase beating the record of May of 06. Uh, prior to that, it goes back to the 1970s. So, hey, we're doing great. I, I'm just, uh, I think it's great that prices are coming down because opportunity is knocking. It's gonna take a little bit more time, I believe, for, every, for prices to really come down. Now, transactions, they can crash you know, look, literally overnight, but prices don't work that way. Prices take time for sellers to realize that my house is sitting on the market for 30, 60, 90, four months I'm seeing Houses sit on the market in some cases, like sellers are just not having it. They bought the house at 330, have it listed at 650, haven't budged in months. It's just like, uh, do you really wanna sell or not? I, I don't think they really wanna sell. I think they're just trying to see if there's a sucker out there or something. So uh, the Black Knight thing I thought was very interesting. Although a lot of people say, oh, prices aren't coming down, prices aren't coming down, but they are coming down, they are. Now, in the last couple, two weeks, we haven't seen as much inventory come to market. We've seen a lot of cancellations where the homes didn't sell and people just canceled and say, oh, I'm just gonna stick with my 3% rate or whatever and not sell the home. I was just trying to see if I could get top dollar, but I'm happy right where I'm at. So uh, they didn't really wanna sell or need to sell. They were just trying to find a, a sucker in my opinion. So I, I uh, looking around the world today, I see China is uh, there, Real estate market is crashing. It is, I mean, they are in some deep doo-doo. We have um, a trend going on where people are not paying their mortgages and it's getting bigger and bigger day by day. And, and that's why the China government's rolling tanks out in front of the banks because people are trying to withdraw their money, but they're not allowing them to withdraw their money. Uh, that could happen here. That could happen here. Don't put it past us. So, when people say China's, you know, the new superpower, well, I, I think they're in a Lehman moment right now. And it's, uh, I'm not sure how that affects us, you know, worldwide, who's invested in China. But um, potentially, I mean, Lehman Brothers affected the entire world. I, I don't know who's invested in Evergrande or whatever, but uh, yeah, they're struggling out there. And speaking of China, uh, we had Nancy Pelosi fly over to uh, Taiwan. For what reason? I, I, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I think that she's just trying to line her own pockets with the chip manufacturers and uh, create a, a potential World War III. So it was reported that China surrounded the island while she was there with military. That's just nuts that she's so power hungry, money hungry, that she needs to go out there and potentially start a World War III. Maybe it's just China posturing, but um, doesn't look good. And speaking of Pelosi, her husband, um, I guess is going to court uh, on his drunk driving. It was a lot worse than what we thought. And uh, you know, they just had a judge change in this case. And uh, that's 
peculiar. They put in a rookie judge who's never uh, heard a case like this before. So that's beneficial to the Pelosi's. And I'm just going to keep rolling on politics here real quick. Here in Arizona, we have a governor race on, on the Republican side. And there's this gal who's a housewife of a rich guy named Robeson who has like followers on, on social media of like maybe 4,000 on each account. Whereas we have Carrie Lake, who has been a news broadcaster for, I don't know, 20, 30 years. And she has quarter million followers. She's out there beating the streets and having these huge, you know, uh, followings and speeches and people are showing up and they're pumping her. And yet she was behind yesterday uh, on the uh, vote count. I, something is wrong with this system. Something is terribly wrong with these mail-in uh, ballots. And uh, it's, it's pretty scary when it should have been a landslide, not even close, but Carrie Lake had to come from behind on this situation. It's just something that concerns me. I don't know. I think it's, I think, yeah, it's something that really is fishy when you see that type of, you know, social media following and, and strength, and then you see she's behind and barely, uh, you know, is inching her out today. That's just crazy to me. Anyways, uh, May and June, if you had bought a house in May or June, uh, potentially if you put a low down payment, like three or 5% down, and you looked at the Cromfort report, uh, losing 8% month over month, you potentially could be upside down right now, right away, right away. That's kind of what I've been trying to say is maybe it's a good idea to, to hold off until you know the fall to see where this uncertainty is going and taking us as far as buying a home. Uh, the rates did come down. That, that was true last week. They came down quite a bit. We hit the fours. But thank you Monday and thank you Tuesday. We went up 83 bips on Monday. We were up another 22 bips um, today or Tuesday. We Tuesday we were uh, down 83 bips, and this morning we woke up and it was another 22 bips. But it has corrected, so now it's back at par as far as uh, rates go. So we are back into the low fives and. Uh, who knows? These rate swings are the wildest rate swings I have seen in almost 19 years. I, I saw back in the day, I would see a 1%, you know, 100 bit swing, like maybe once in a year, maybe once every two years. But we've seen it at least a dozen times this year. That is so crazy. So until you're under contract or you're, you do a lock and shop type scenario, uh, do you know your actual interest rate? So if you're just floating out there and you're not sure you're going to buy with the lock and shop, it gives you a lot of time, but you're going to get a higher interest rate if you do a lock and shop and you're not under contract. So I hope you guys are paying attention to the 10 year treasury because it truly tells us what's going on. I think the re recession that we're seeing right now, um, you know, look at what the food prices are doing right now. Mark it down, and then in September, October, see what you're going to be paying. There's going to be a big chicken thing going on, a shortage, and you're going to want to stock up on chicken and freeze that chicken, freeze that beef, and uh, see if you can save yourself some money. I think it would be a good investment to buy food and freeze it, especially meats right now, and uh, try and you know save yourself some money. I think that's a small investment that, the, you know, Anybody could do it. Any level of income, I think it'd be a smart investment. Uh, I'm talking about investing in food here. <laughs> that's uh, that's crazy. Uh, I, I, if you have any questions about financing a home or putting together a plan to buy in the near future, uh, give me a call. And the uh, application website is in the link below. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate your time. And until next time.